Hello everyone and welcome to the Cookley Bushcraft channel. Okay, so little indoors project today. So I've got this to have a scrammer and yeah, when you buy these, as if you don't buy it with the sheath, what you do get is this plastic sheath liner, which on its own gives really good retention. You could put a bit of duct tape around there and attach a bit of paracord, use that as a belt loop. You don't really need to get the sheath. But, British Army PLCE Bernet Frog. These are really, really cheap. And, at least the smaller version of the Scrammer, uh, I think this is 200mm. Uh, so that's the, the smaller scrammer, fits perfectly into the British Army PLCE Bayonet Frog. So, how have I been carrying this? Well, I do quite often like to carry my knives on a bald rig, rig which means basically a sling. Uh, so, have I got an example? I've got an example. Yeah, so this Green River... I carry like this and there are a couple of advantages to this uh, for one thing as if you're not wanting to carry this on your belt you know maybe well, as if you live in the UK for example you can't really be carrying a fixed blade knife on the bus <laughs> or on the train on your belt so you know you can sling it into your bag and when you get to where you're going, you can just put it on. Also, here in the winter, uh, you would want a longer bit of cordage than this, probably. Uh, well, definitely, because I've tried with this one. Uh, but this fits outside of your jacket. Uh, or you can have it inside of your jacket and you unzip your jacket to access your knife which can be a lot easier than as if you've got a long jacket on reaching underneath pulling your knife out and also sometimes when you're putting your knife back in its sheath uh, you know it can puncture your clothing and also for big knives I think it's quite a nice way to carry a big knife uh, the way I have been carrying this one is I've been using a length of paracord which has been just about the right size for the ridge line for me to up. And uh, I've been chaining it basically. And what that means is. Okay, so I've tied that to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop. Or, yeah, or a marlin splice hitch to start off with. And then I pull another loop through. And then another loop. Then another loop. And then another loop. And this multiplies the amount of cordage that you carry in. Of course, as if you do a paracord bracelet type cobra weave, it's going to look much nicer. But it's also going to take quite a long time. And uh, yeah, you can make it as small or as big as you want. And uh, because I'm only demonstrating, I'm going to leave that a bit long. Right, the last loop, I'm going to pass the end of the sheep through, pull it tight. Wrap it around a couple of times and then put a quick clove hitch on the bottom. Yeah, so now, now I've got that. So, yeah, that works okay. But then I can just pull this off here. He says, undo that there, and 
and then all of this just basically falls out so it's not a bad way of doing it but this has got this buckle <laughs> and what's what that's actually for is your uh, your bayonet uh, as if you're in the British Army comes with a female buckle on there that goes in there and that actually holds the uh, the sheath liner in place uh, so to my mind that's just been crying out for having something attached to it so what I'm gonna do is I've got some buckles I've got some 40 mil webbing and uh, I'm going to try and rig something up. You've got to be a little bit careful when buying the buckles. So these are the uh, classic SR buckles that are used by most European militaries. But there's also GSR buckles, which are generally used by the American military. And they're not interchangeable. Uh, so the American male parts will fit into the European uh, female parts but there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of wiggle uh, the European male parts are too big to fit into the female American parts and as if you get Chinese buckles then some of them are too strange of a shape to make any kind of penetration possible. Did I manage to say all of that and keep a straight face? So, I've just sewn a clip on that end and a loop on that end. We've got another clip here. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously adjustable. You just pull this through and to hold this into place I've just got a length of it in a tube uh, yeah so that's it oh and this loop to stop it from falling off I've just tied this on with a bit of paracord just so as it doesn't slip off the end and I think maybe Let's unfasten that and take this off. Aha! Okay, so this clip is obviously one of the Chinese ones. <laughs> yeah, so this. Oh, no. So what I was hoping was that that could clip on there and then it'd have an extra belt loop as if... Uh, I don't really know why I'd want a belt loop that low. But, yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's one of those Chinese clips. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, please give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you all again soon for another Kookly Bushcraft video. Bye for now.